Hi guys, uh, I'm going to teach you today what to do when you cannot find the mouse. Okay, so here we go. So here we're going to go to maintenance. We're going to go to default. And we're going to do simply restore. We're going to say yes. So right now we can see it on, it's on the screen, okay? So let's say now you, you want to do the restore. It's going to reboot. And when it's going to come up, you won't see the mouse anymore. It's going to be disappearing. So this is how you're going to solve your issue. We're going to wait for it to reboot. So you must have your computer plus it has to be connected to the port on the left side, meaning that port. So the yellow, light, yellow Ethernet goes into the computer. So now we're going to wait for it to come up. So once it's going to come up, it's going to be disappear, the mouse. So it's a simple step to do. You must have setup tool. So you must download setup tool. So go to your Igvision and you must download it. Let's go to yes. So now it's going to start up. So here you go. So now I'm trying to move the mouse. Nothing happened. Disappeared. So setup tool is already running. So right now we're going to go into the link. Okay. So now you're going to log into setup tool and we're going to go to the NVR. I know this is the NVR is supposed to be this one. So when you click on it, you'll see the IP address that will appear on you. I'm not sure what's going to be yours, but you have to copy. Now you have to go, you have Edge and you have Explorer. Very important. You must use the older version of Internet Explorer. Okay, if you want to look for it, it's right in the start. Right Explorer or Internet is going to come up. So now we're going to paste the IP address. It will take us to the page of Igvision. So this is the only way to fix it. So add mine, I will put my password. Okay, login. So very important, right now it's going to download another application, you must confirm. I already did it. So we're going to go into configuration. And in the configuration, you're going to see menu output. You see it's an automatic. You must choose HDMI. Now you'll save it. It's going to tell you that it's going to reboot. So now we're going to see the camera, which we cannot access right now to our menu. So it's going to reboot. We'll wait another uh, 30 seconds for it to reboot. It will shortly. Still rebooting, disappear. That's the only way to fix the issue. And you must connect through the Ethernet behind the port of the NVR. So it's going to restart now. And it's going to go back to normal. Here you go. Now it's back to normal. So the, basically the issue is the output has to be HDMI. You won't be able to access it through the television. So you must go through the computer. 
set up tool go to your NVR look at the IP on the right side copy and paste it on your Explorer not age you have to go to the older version of Internet Explorer and once you open it there you should sign up at mine sometimes it's blank there's no password but you can use your password it should be capital letter number and symbol once you log in be careful six times if you do more than six times you will be blocked and then you have to call eVision the next day if you do it at night you must wait until the next day so do not do more than six times thank you very much and subscribe